Ferrari F430 and today we'll be testing how it suits the average Sri Lankan driver. This is Top Gear Sri Lanka. Top Gear Sri Lanka! Bloody fast, bloody furious! The first and most important test on Sri Lankan Top Gear is to see how this car fares in a Sri Lankan dinner party situation. It's time for the Top Gear Sri Lanka dinner party test. So let's go to a Sri Lankan dinner party. This car is seriously bloody fast. It has 590 brake horsepower. To put that in perspective, it's about as powerful as a totally unexpected thundering slap. Even better is that it's so loud, you don't have to listen to your wife complain on the way to a dinner party. Uh, what's that? Well, the last one's there. This is so embarrassing. We'll never find parking. I don't know. I do not know at all. Hey, I can't hear you. <laughs> In fact, the car is so bloody fast that for the first time in my life, I wasn't late for a dinner party. I was actually early. I didn't know what the bloody hell to do. Hello, Janek. Yeah, we are a few hours early for the dinner party. Uh, is anyone at home? And the final part of the dinner party test is to see how the car performs in a classic Sri Lankan horn situation. The goodbye horn. Thank you for dinner. See you. Did you hear that? So much charm, so much charisma, and it just says, you gave me a lovely meal. I'll see you soon. Great. So the Ferrari is good for dinner parties, but how does it do in a wedding scenario? You see, every Sri Lankan attends four to five weddings per week. How does this Ferrari help or hinder in this high performance situation? Let's take a little look. You see, when it's wedding time, as a Sri Lankan, you have to do a lot of airport drop-offs. What these lead Canyon engineers have completely underestimated is the volume of the average Sri Lankan luggage load. I mean, look at the size of this boot. You can barely fit this in. This is one bag. I don't know where the cricket set is going to go. I don't know where the folding chairs are going to go. I have to fold a sari. It's going to get crushed. This is just terrible car. Terrible. One major drawback in the wedding scenario is how low the Ferrari is to the ground. As you can see, it doesn't even clear an average bottle of MD chili sauce, making it nearly impossible to get in and out of in a perfectly pleated wedding sari. How can I get it? I cannot. I have draped this sari for days. There are pins everywhere. I cannot get in this bucket. We are going to miss the wedding. We are going to miss the wedding. Right, right, right. Enough bloody nonsense. Now for a real question. How expensive is this bloody thing? A car like this will cost you a few hundred thousand dollars converted to rupees that's basically an arm and a bloody leg. But what people don't realize is with that kind of car you can really attract a lovely lady for your son. Like, like her. Excuse me, would you be interested in uh, marrying my son? You see, a girl like this will come with a huge dowry of a few hundred thousand dollars. And when you take the dowry offset into consideration, this car practically pays for itself. And now the final test, the Top Gear Sri Lanka speed test. Now as you know, my wife doesn't allow me to drive above 40 kilometers per hour. So for the speed test, I've brought along my driver. Some say that his steering is so good, he can turn sharper than a Murali off brake. Others say the heat from his exhaust is enough to cook Kottu from Colombo. All we know is that he's the Stigger Singer. It's the Ferrari versus the benchmark in Sri Lankan high performance. Kumar Sangakara! Stigger Singer faces up. Sangakara faces up. Stigger Singer is off the mark. Sangakara is off the mark. Interesting choice of music. This is two of Sri Lanka's finest drivers going head to head, drive for drive. But as good as a driver as Stigger Singer is, he's no match for the glorious cover drive of Kumar Sangakara. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Ferrari F430 from the eyes of the Sri Lankan driver. Tune in to Top Gear Sri Lanka next week when we discuss bargaining tactics for three wheelers. Good evening. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that video. It was seriously one of the hardest videos we've ever made. Don't forget to hit subscribe. New video every other weekend. Now for some behind the scenes footage. Okay, bye. Yeah, here's our cameraman. As you can see.
<laughs> a very safe uh, camera filming method here. Uh, he's got no seat belt. Uh, we're going pretty fast. Uh, it's also a cliff, I might add, as you can see. So yeah, this is uh, how not to make a YouTube video. You know, what's really interesting is they have several different driving modes with this little dial here. I've been using CST, which I can only assume means curry stability transportation. You know, when you're driving from one house to the other with some chicken curry, you want it to be stable so it doesn't spill everywhere. These engineers are top class. <laughs> <laughs>